What's up, people? Today we're going retro and learn how to make this nostalgic CRT effect. Let's go. With our footage on the timeline, the first thing we want to create is some scan lines. So we're going to hop into effects, type grid, and drag the grid effect onto our clip. For anchor, set this value to minus five. Set for size from to width and height sliders. Now move the width value until all vertical lines are gone. I'm setting height and width to these values and I personally like to add some feathering as well. Note that you can play around with the values to achieve the scan lines you think best suit your project. For color, we're setting black. And blending mode will set to overlay. For the next effect, we'll type lens and drag the lens distortion effect onto our clip. Set curvature to 50, vertical decentering to 10, horizontal decentering to 3, vertical prism FX to 10, and horizontal prism FX to 2. Now under motion, we'll use position to center our footage and scale it up until it fills our screen. Again back to effects and type noise. Drag the noise effect onto our clip and in effect controls we'll put amount of noise to 10. Let's head up to window and select Lumetri color. In Lumetri color under basic correction we'll turn up exposure, contrast, highlights, and whites. Then, in the Creative tab, we'll turn down Vibrant Sum and shift Shadow Tint a bit into the red. Highlight Tint will drag towards the blue. This will give a magenta-like ambiance to our footage. Once more, we will travel back to Effects, type in Channel Blur, and drag the Channel Blur effect over to our clip. We'll set the value for red blurriness to 50 and blur dimensions to horizontal. This will add a glowing chromatic aberration-like effect. Now, for the subtle cherry on top, we go back to effects, type strobe, and drag over the strobe light effect. We'll set blend with original to 98%, strobe duration to 1, random strobe probability to 35%, and strobe will set to makes layer transparent. Finally, set the strobe operator to add, and random seed to about 5. This is to make our footage softly fluctuate. Let's render real quick and see what we've got. Pretty cool. To save this effect as a preset so we don't have to go through this process each time, go to Effect Controls, hold the Control button and select every effect apart from Opacity and Motion. Then right-click and hit Save Preset and give it a name. This way you can just drag and apply it to any footage you like. Just go to Effects and you'll find it under Presets. The only thing you have to do is adjust the position and the scale under Motion. Maybe adjust the color grading in Lumetri a bit, and you have your effect. Quick and easy. Okay, that is officially it for this video, you guys. Like and subscribe for more tutorials, and we will catch you all on the next one.